welcome back to the channel everybody Lone Star Gamer Dad here bringing you more songs of horror where we have uh, Sophie here and we're gonna start looking around seeing if we can't find where Daniel went burglar alarm how modern a moat with crocodiles would be more fitting in this house agreed 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 books in the foyer you won't find me complaining the clock is turn of the century just lovely so the time isn't set properly I wonder if there's a trick to that, you know? Coat's hung up. Somebody must be home then. Oh! Well, this is different. Tears in the Wind by Liam Edelman. Lovely, melancholy, and has macabre touches. God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. <laughs> Alright. Packed suitcases, they're everywhere. But were they arriving or departing? Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's curious. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go the way Daniel went first and see if I maybe can't get him. Let me check the bathroom. Maybe somebody's in here using the bathroom. Well, I don't remember the shower curtain being open, but... Greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Hmm. Greasy fingerprints. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Wow. Old photos of family trips and such. I didn't see this note. Dusty note. Let me see if there's anything. All right. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. Children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back. And I don't want them playing with it. So... need to go get into his uh, library to find the key. That must be that jammed uh, drawer, right? The Dead Marshes by Carla Shlomo. It's inspired by the prisoner transfers which took place in World War II. I wouldn't put it up in my home. Eh, it's dreary, but historical at least, right? Come on, why can't I look down there? Get suitcases. Yeah, that's uh, it's a weird uh, pile of suitcases. Why are there so many? Yeah. Right, uh, can we get in here? good music with good wine in other circumstances huh. a bright piano played one just like it is a girl wonder if there's going to be a trick to that later carving on the chess pieces it's exquisite so that must be one of those old ivory uh, chess piece chess sets seeing many bottles in one place remind me of Daniel and unpleasant times. I can certainly imagine so. Well, what to plant sometimes happens to mine when I have a lot going on at the gallery. History magazines. He actually subscribes to some of them. suit all over. Perhaps I could get it to light somehow. Well, uh, I can find those matches. I understood why people have to murder defenseless animals for sports. It's called for food, lady. Novels written by Husher. I don't consider myself a fan, but I admit his books are addictive. This was the door... We went to find his library. Huh? I must admit, I could spend weeks on end in this library. Old globe from the 18th century. I'm sure must deal with some very choice collectors. Uh -huh. Historical novels. Addictive. She She's addicted to those kind of books. She loves them. Lovely camera, but... It's only plastic. 
I keep talking about that. What the heck is this, the significance of that camera? Macabre. Macabre Tales, Noir Novels, and Ooh, Psycho by Robert Block. Enchanting. Dictionaries, atlases, manuals, blah, blah, Husher doing his research. Yes, we already knew that. So. An Olivetti from the 1940s. Husher is old-fashioned even when it comes to his work, though I admit it is quite lovely. I know most of this is going to be the same. I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of these books. Japanese swords. Both look authentic. I could even imagine them being museum pieces. Oh. See a key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. Alright, so uh, we need some oil or something. Alright, well, that's what we're going to do. We'll try to find us some uh, some oil, I guess. Now, where in this place would be some oil? That's a good question. Wandering around this place and with only just a candle, and she has, she's not nervous or anything. What's she got to say about the fruit? Porcelain fruit, candlesticks, and English tea set. Very old and dusty. So nothing, just similar stuff. Dishes and books in the same cupboard. Odd way of arranging things. Old family photos in black and white. Can't see anything because it's covered in filth. I would fit under the table quite easily where I need of hiding. Well, that's good to know that she can uh, hide, right? Let's uh -oh. see here. Okay, so she needs a key to open that. So if something chases me, I can come out here and get under that. Well, we will remember that. Delicate, quite elegant dinner service, but covered with dust. Oh, look, there's the matches. So, yes, we're going to take them. Uh -huh. mm -mm. No, I don't want to combine them with anything. <sighs> nope. Okay, so I took the matches. All right. Oh, well, we're in the kitchen now. There's huh. something on the counter. All right, we'll check it out. Mm. Oh, a drawing. Drawing done by Usher's youngest child, Saul. Huh. Well, that's not really a pleasant drawing. Hmm. Water came from under the sink. And there's a wire right there. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, I'm not trying to kill myself yet. Still some coffee left in the pot. Ooh, a ring. A metal ring. A ring made of iron. Nothing unusual. Well, we'll take that, huh? Principal old cookbooks, as far as I could tell, they're written in Russian. Russian cookbooks, huh? So did he have a Russian maid or something? Fresh fruit, though the apples are beginning to rot. Oh, there's still something else. Souvenirs and a list of errands. Date has expired on some of those. Mm -mm. Need a key? Okay. Seems like every other door I need a key for. Huh. Serve cereal, a wide range of non-perishable foods. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that oil can? Yes. All right. We will take it. Because uh -huh. we can use that to um, lube up that drawer. Nice find, Sophie. Nice find. Uh-oh. Um. 
What was that noise? You better take a look before you got back out. To press your ear against a door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold Y. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. What was that? Okay. I don't hear anything. Seems like the coast is clear. Okay. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you've explored so far. To open it up, press the left stick. The map will constantly update with in relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once in a while. Well, I'll check it out now. In there. Okay, so yeah, there's a door. I guess that eye symbol is supposed to be a place to hide. And, uh... More, uh, keys, locked doors, so... Alright. Now we gotta find, uh... How to get back to... The, um library oh, open it up so we can get the key and since I'm in here I'll use the try to use the matches on the uh, yeah okay so uh, X okay X to use the match what mm -mm. I need something to get it lit So I need something to strike it against? That's weird. That's weird. I have the matchbox. Why would I not be able to strike the match against the matchbox? Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Alright, let's see here. Maybe I'm just not getting this uh, item usage thing down. Oh, let's see here. Oh, see, that one used it just fine. The oil work like a charm. All right. Looks like an old key was jammed in the drawer in the library. Hmm. Those type of keys usually open more than one drawer. Yes, and more than one door. Okay. Well, how the heck do we open the drawer, lady? Yeah, I want to see haiku folder, piece of a collectible, a reddish folder containing a bunch of papers. Is there anything else in there? All right. Uh, let's see, matchbox. So I can't really do anything with that. I can't like open it and read it. All right, uh, let's see here. Well, now that we got a key, but I want to try to mess around with that fireplace a little more. Maybe I was supposed to strike the match against the ring. I think I don't, I don't know, it's weird. Just a little bit weird. I want to. Whoa! I was not expecting that to ring. The phone. Should I answer? Yeah, you might as well. I mean, you're here. Maybe it's Etienne. Hello? Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. Wow! What is that? We can't leave my room. What the? Yeah, what the heck was that about? It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? Right. That's interesting. All right, so um, we'll combine those with the haiku. No. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Combine matchbox with uh, uh no. Okay, so um let me let me go into my inventory here. Examine. Huh. 
There are plenty of matches left. Yes, I know there's plenty of matches left, but how do I get one out of there? Mm -mm. I... Okay. Well, so much for that idea. Now, let's see here. Uh... Oh, I wonder if that's supposed to use... No. Well, maybe it's got to do with something with that electricity back there. Yeah. All right. Let's go up here and see if we can find the room where Daniel went. So I know that's locked. And I'm wondering if we can... All right. Yep. Mm -mm. Okay, yes, I know. Use the key. Mm -hmm. Key fits in the lock. Now let us in. Mm. Record player with a peaceful eye of Vivaldi ready to play. More with Chopin would deliver myself, but this isn't the worst choice. Yes. Oh. Flathead screwdriver. Looks like it's seen better days, huh? Hmm. Wonder if we can use it as a weapon of some sort. This in my hand, I could pass for Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct, if I were a blonde. <laughs> uh. Okay, something, something's like... Hmm. Small tobacco skulls, weapons in the wall. I suppose this is where the mom feels... <laughs> I suppose this is why the room feels so dreary to me. Let's go cool. yeah. I'll look. A note. Well, that scribbled piece of paper from the smoking room in the Husher Mansion. Read it. Julia, I saw another door yesterday. I was walking by the dining room, suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when we came back in, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. Saw. I saw the weird door. Mm -hmm. I saw the weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, and I will hide the five dolls, too. Even if they get mad at me, then I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One, one will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The other one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Huh. So those, that's the clues to finding the key to the uh, secret door here. Right. Nothing else I can do here, but I've at least got a note. Uh oh. Um. Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. Is that you, lady? You better like hide under that table. Oh, what the heck is coming through that door? Okay, something's trying to get in. Make sure that door does not open. To gather your strength, repeatedly press A. Once you feel strong enough, right trigger to block the door. Waiting for maximum strength is effective but risky. You decide when to push the door. But be extra careful. No matter what happens, make sure you keep it shut. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on, come on! There. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoa! Ooh! Wow! Oh, some crazy, like, spirits jumping through there. Woof! Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you've already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. 
All right, so, oh, uh... God! What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? Yeah. And don't ask me to go through there right now. Whoa, what the heck was that noise? Clearly something making noise over there. So I was like, oh, yeah, um, we're, we're, we're not going to go there, okay? We are going to go around this way. And, uh, yeah, get the heck through here. And find where else the locked doors are. So there's one locked door down here and the other in the kitchen. I think I'm going to, uh, come down here into the main hall and, uh, go through that first locked door that might lead to his office. Okay. I'm not going up there yet. No, you're, you're crazy, lady. I'm not going up there yet. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I could have... How did this door get unlocked? This door wasn't unlocked before. Or is this a different door? A bike. Oh, an old bicycle. A tad broken down, but it is still pretty. Of course. I love motorcycles, but I've never mustered the courage to drive one. Especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Well, I mean, he's, he's not wrong. They are... If you have no experience, they can be tough to handle. Old metal box. Rusty old metal box. That's close to... Ah, fuses. Mm -hmm. Old metal box. It's screwed down, so do I use the combine with the screwdriver? Mm-hmm, yes. Four fuses. They were in an old metal box. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, she doesn't really know much about it, but uh, we'll figure it out. Disorderly pile of tools, but no flathead screwdriver. Well, I already found the flathead screwdriver, so mm -hmm. I got you beat. Here's the boiler. But it's receiving no electricity, like the rest of the house. So, do I got to, uh... Alright, read this. Shut down. Press the left button. Start. Press central button. Emptying. Press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Left button is shut down. Huh. Well, I can't do anything with it yet, though, so maybe I have to do something with it later? Huh. Right. Uh, which door was it? I go in this one? Uh-huh. We're gonna listen. Alright. Go in here. Uh-uh. Oh, so I don't have the right key? Huh. Huh. Yes. Okay, that is the right key. Alright. I say, man, come on. It didn't bring up the little gear icon for me to try to, uh, Oh, I hear it. Sounds like a kid crying. And this looks almost like the same hallway Daniel came down in a way. There's a note stuck on the safe. Oh, a handwritten note detailing Husher's riddle to his daughter Julia. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to finding the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address. Saul's age. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from Daddy. So I know Saul's age is seven, and I'm pretty sure the street address was four. Now we just have to go upstairs to the uh, 
other place and we can um, find the uh, date on the painting and open the safe. There's some good win wines here, some very good wines and some very good and expensive wines. She knows her wines. Painting by Kaufman from 1945. I doubt it's an original. Old junk. The washer looks like it was here before they built the house. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Old junk, nothing helpful. <laughs> East Asian vases. These are fine pieces. Such a shame they're being kept here. Oh, whoa. Something must be amiss with the fuse box. In the fuse box. Yes. Okay. Nope. All right. So there's two things for me to inspect here. Something's gone amiss. The fuses are misshapen. All right. Uh, all right. Huh. Yeah. It's got something to do with those. And then how it goes to those. So. Um. So that's 40. Yellow and green. Okay, so the first one is the 25 amp. Second one is 50, which has. See, that shit's so. This, this, thing is, this part's so confusing. Huh. Thank you. Finally. What? Failing to make contact somewhere. All right, so it must have to do with that water upstairs in the kitchen. Huh. Did, did that thing just have an arm come out of it? I could have swore I saw an arm come out of that cabinet there. Don't appear to be a wardrobe anymore. It's empty. That, I could have swore I just saw an arm come out of there. All right. That has me on edge, man. And that's more wine. So I've got to go see the 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 painting, which is gonna be upstairs. So I think that's all other than the kitchen. The locked kitchen door. Let's see here. Um hmm. well we didn't go through here, did we? There's nothing there, so let's try it. <sighs> nope. Locked from the inside. Lovely. And that's the garage. Okay. Alright, so now we just need to go back around to the kitchen. Which I hope that thing isn't in there. Ooh. I hear something. Is this for the... Alright. So... Yeah, we, we must have to do something with that to close the circuit. Maybe with the, um ring on those wires once we get that water cleaned up. Nothing in here. Did we already go in there? What the heck? That was weird. Mm -mm. Yes, I know it's locked, but you should be able to just use the key since it's a 
master keys for most of the house. Hmm. To climb the empty wardrobes like this, playing hide and seek as a girl. Bunch of items piled up any which way. It's impossible to get through. Oh, bird cage? Oh dear, yeah. Poor bird. Aha, there's some firewood. Now, can we set that in that one area and uh, in the fireplace and light it on fire? Start it up, fire it up. Alright. Well, let's. Still some coffee, okay. Uh -huh. place to hide in that other room. I'm guessing the wardrobes you can hide in. Alright. Wasn't this the area where that thing tried to catch me at? Yeah, where it tried to come through the door? Yes, it did. That's weird. No, I'm not going to complain, but... <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if we can go like this fireplace now. Now that I have wood, I, I, I guess that's what it was meaning. But it wasn't a very good description saying what I needed to do. I thought there might be firewood in there. All right. Let's combine. Matchbox and okay. that. Okay, all right, fine. We'll use the firewood in there. Now we'll use the matchbox. Look, and I used up all the matches before managing to light a fire. Really? 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 So there's more to it. All right, all right, all right. Well, fine, fine. We'll go upstairs. Or at least we'll consider going upstairs, okay? Hey, we got farther than Daniel did. And I know there's a painting up here that I need to check out that's got a date on it. At least I'm pretty sure it's upstairs, right? Huh. They removed a painting from the mark on the wall. You'd think they took it down long ago. Perfect. Hmm. So maybe that's that painting that... Or is this it? Come on, let me let me look here. Come on, it was right there. A portrait from 1634. I'm not familiar with the artist of this subject. Hmm. 1634. All right, something to remember. Streets are so called. 1634. Could that be the painting that I'm needing to remember? Ooh, what is that? Huh. Whoa! Black and white photo. What the heck? Yeah, I went to move it. Do not look at this photo. Okay, okay, oh, okay, alright. Wow. At first it was, uh, seemed like a mother and kids, and then when I turned it over, uh. Golden Bonfire by Husher. Looks like a real page turner. That was not creepy at all. All right, let's listen. I think it's safe to go in there. Of course I need a key, but do I have a key that I could use? All right, so that's the last key, last door that I can open with that key, so. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. What's that mean? Uh, that room looks really dark. Yeah, okay. It's a book open on the table, but it's Russian or some similar language. Miniature caravel, just lovely and full of detail. So 
switch to turn on the light in the bedroom, but there is no electricity right now. All right, so I would have to get the fuse box working in order to find my way to try to get in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should have listened at the door. Oh. Okay, a dirty dishcloth. I wonder if I can use that to uh, clean the uh, mess up in the kitchen. Always complaining about the dusty mirrors. Really. Special toiletries here. Most, most are still sealed. Let's see here. Ooh. Where did that come from? Exactly. I don't think I want to go in there. Let's see. What can we hear? She's really nervous, but there's nothing in there that I can hear anyway. Someone has bolted it. Figurines and masks from faraway places. If I had the time, I'd travel like I used to. Let's see if I can convince Aurelia or Bernard. Go for her friends. Let's listen in. Nothing. I wonder if this door is locked too. No. Paintbrushes, acrylic paints, and poorly sealed bottles. Whatever's inside has stained all the shelves. Well, it's obviously the paint supplies, right? From 1883 and 1790, having such fine pieces strewn about on the floor is quite rich, I suppose. Uh, marks on the floor must be related to a trapdoor sabotage. Mm -mm. That would do no good whatsoever. Ah, look up there. So they have an attic. And uh, that's interesting. But nothing really that I can do in here yet. Hmm. I'll bet I have to go back downstairs and do the cleanup and all that. Hmm. Oh, tongs. Nice, 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 nice. Uh -uh. We got grilled tongs. Mm -hmm. That's good. For how much I feel around the floodlight, it will be useless until I can turn it on. Not sure, but I'd say the battery belongs to the floodlight. The plants are nice and green due to the rain, I reckon. Boxes full of soil and fertilizer. This must have been where the lady of the house uh, spent part of her time, you know, gardening and things of that nature. Huh. Oh, this is where they even dined out on the patio. Happy anniversary. So they were going to celebrate their anniversary with candlelit dinner out on the patio, and what happened? Mysterious. All right, can we go down this way? Oh, well, okay. I wasn't expecting that, but... All right, a letter for Husher written on August 10th, 1998, was sent by the owner of an antique shop. We'll read it. Dear Sebastian, I wanted to tell you firsthand that I will be taking some much needed time off, which means that the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I wanted you to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on her door. My daughter is currently traveling and I must confess I can't keep up with her everyday demands on my own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. As soon as she's back, we will open for business. Again, rest assured you will be the first to know. I hope you feel better by then. Please give my warmest regards to your family. Sincerely, Isaac F Farber.
So that's where he got most of those things was the, uh, that guy's, um, antique shop. Well. well. Still hear the kid crying, but. Nothing of interest here, just an old record player. Oh, blueprints, huh? Evacuation plan of the Husher Mansion. Elevation of the mansion with some notes on it. Erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, check old pipes. A scaffold goes here. So, on the second floor, you should be able to climb scaffolding to get up to the third floor. I see how that's explained. It seems to be locked from... God. The latch on the other side. Is that the one on the other side? Oh, there is somebody crying. How do I get? I have but to I can't. get in there. Yeah, but we can't. So um, we'll go back downstairs and see what happens. I guess it's really our only choice. I didn't think this was a hallway, was it? Oh, okay. I guess it is. Wow. What's this? Remote control. Your standard garage door remote control. The buttons seem a bit worn down. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's, uh... The control doesn't appear to activate anything in my surroundings. Okay, well. Lovely armchair, surrounded by books. I wouldn't mind setting down to page through a few. Keep that table in mind if you need a spot to hide. Okay. Reference books of all sorts of medicine, physics, physiology. There's some on art, which I own too. An impressionist landscape from 1905. Evocative. One of the loveliest I've seen in the house. And that's the one. I have to read that clue again. Filing cabinet with contacts. We have several at the gallery, but ours is from this century. <laughs> uh -huh. Something is jamming the lock. I believe it's a broken key. Oh, well, what if I took that ring? Because... Right... It's a ring made of iron. Yeah, see, it looks like it's broken right there, right? So what if I use that? Piece of the ring seems to match the shaft of the keyhole. Could I get them together somehow? Um. Not that I can see. I couldn't. I don't think we can do that yet, so we'll have to come back. Mainly African masks, some are Indian, though that is not my field of expertise. Hmm. All right. So we know that if we find some glue or some way of soldering, we can um, get that key. So we know where that ring goes to. All right. Uh, this is where we'll end this video, where before we get to go down to the kitchen and hopefully stop up the water, turn off the electricity, and get things working somewhat. I don't know. Things are really weird. I don't know what's going on. Be sure to come back soon for part three.